Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed of a from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. Kingdom advance and societal transformation. This is where our teachings on witnesses, raising agents of change, and so on and so forth, understanding the cosmos, you see. Now, you see me bring several teachings. I'm showing you that the teachings that you hear week in and week out are guided by these pillars. The message of purpose, watch this. What gives credence to your empowerment what gives credence to all your desires is purpose and this is a challenge respectfully speaking with the body of christ we understand things we want things but we do not connect them to purpose we want prosperity without purpose increase without purpose this is where i so greatly miss dr miles munro hearing me from heaven may god bless you sir I will say it more personally when we get there but for now on behalf of jesus and his people thank you for helping us walk in purpose it is the reason why by the grace of god he brought the message of purpose and of the kingdom his first book that i read discovering your potential or understanding your potential and then all of his books about the kingdom any of his book you find read it you have my endorsement provided it is him please read it hallelujah now watch this it was dr miles munro by the grace of god that brought the transformative dimension of the gospel to me because coming from an evangelical background with all due respect we were not properly mentored in translating the reality of the gospel to a context that advances kingdom and transforms society and many many men and women of god respectfully speaking we are very limited in our doctrinal scope i was having a discussion with some diplomats earlier this year and we were discussing africa they, you know and um just discussing why in spite of the several churches in africa and several of us men of God, we have not seemed to attain onto a standard of freedom from corruption, moral decadence and other things. And I did observe lovingly and respectfully to them that the problem is the content and the scope of our teachings. That there is hardly applicability to the many teachings that are upon our pulpits. And I say this with every sense of honor, respect, and responsibility. There is a lot of gyration. There is a place for that. There is a lot of, you know, spiritism activities, you know, but the, the, the point of application, when you study homiletics, classically speaking in theology, one of the things they teach you, homiletics is the art of teaching and preaching there must be a point of application to your teaching are we together so no matter what route you take at the end of your discourse you are mandated to leave your audience with the point of application they must know what to do with the message you have given them and let me tell you this i, I think it was while i was preaching in ghana that i said this we must be able to bring the context of the gospel in africa that empowers people to be useful monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and the key is purpose are we together if i teach you on prosperity i must teach it in such a way that does not just make you a money monger and a fanatic just wanting money without purpose is why we have a lot of young people right now on rampage once they touch a few millions they begin to misbehave because they were only taught finances without god and without purpose so they crash land what was supposed to be a blessing destroys them a man gets married to a woman they don't understand the purpose of the marriage so they don't know what to do with themselves a man gets a job 
he got educated does not know what to do purpose is what gives longevity to impact are we together so when we teach about being witnesses when we teach about being ambassadors as god has so graciously granted us the grace to have a, the unique expression of our school of ministry all of this is in honor to this foundational pillar the message of purpose we must understand god's program we must understand societal transformation hallelujah in john chapter 18 and verse 37 john 18 37 let's look at a few scriptures john 18 37 watch this jesus is standing before pilate and here's what he has to say pilate therefore said unto him art thou a king then jesus answered thou sayest that i am a king he said to this end was i born and for this cause came i into the world that i should bear witness unto the truth and everyone that is of the truth hear it my voice say purpose acts chapter 26 when you read from verse 12 this is now apostle paul standing before king agrippa if you remember to make defense of the gospel they had granted him an opportunity audience with king agrippa and here was his discourse whereupon as i went to damascus with authority and commission from the chief priest uh-huh it says at midday o king i saw in the way a light from heaven above the brightness of the sun shining round about me and them which journeyed with me 14. it says and when we were all fallen to the earth i heard a voice speaking to me and saying in the hebrew tongue saul saul why persecutest thou me it is hard for thee to kick against the pricks 15. It says, and I said, who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. Watch purpose now. But rise and stand upon thy feet. For I have appeared unto thee for this purpose. To make thee a minister and a witness. Both of these things which thou hast seen. And of those things which in which I will appear unto you. Reading to 19. It says, delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom I now send thee to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. The last verse, he says, whereupon, O King Agrippa, I was not disobedient unto the heavenly vision. Without purpose, there is nothing to be obedient unto. Listen to me. Dr. Miles Munro will say your purpose and assignment is not what you are living for. It's what you can die for. When it has to do with purpose, it takes more than living. You must be willing. The hymn writer says, I'll be a true soldier i'll die at my post nobody will kill you you will finish your assignment in full in the name of jesus i rebuke untimely death Amen. don't fear death death has an ear it is a rider upon one of the four horses in revelation the rider upon the pale horse he said his name is death death is a spirit you can cast it far from you it is not a mysterious phenomenon that has that has unrestrained dominion over Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.